I'm Amy. I'm Delia. And I'm Wendell. And welcome to Yes, But Why Podcast. Yeah. I just got out of class. Oh, you just got out of class? Class is always in session. Booyah. No? Yes, I agree. Oh, look at you. Yes, ending. (laughs) (laughs) The student of life. Uh, Uh, Jisoo, thank you so much for um, chatting with us. Yeah, no Uh, problem. It's really great that you on Delia told me that um, they had talked to you talked you into coming and, and chatting with us I was like yeah cool there's lots of things I'd like to ask Jisoo I didn't even have to look up questions yeah because I just have things I'm interested in because I don't know things anything about Jisoo I have a very questioning face like <laughs> when the cops want to know what happened they'll scan the crowd they'll see me and they'll say that guy knows <laughs> Does that happen to you before? You have, you have narc face? I have been, like, randomly been like, hey, like, what's going on here? I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. Like, <laughs> what? Do you hate the cops? Do I hate the cops? No, yeah. no, not at all. Well, because well, you know how there are some people that are like, I fucking hate cops, and then there are other people that don't it's, really care. Honestly, it's dumb to hate cops because it's a profession. You know, it's not, like, there are asshole cops, sure, but there's assholes in every profession. You know what I'm saying? It's just these assholes have a gun, which understandably people hate. But uh, you can't hate Texas. you can't hate all cops because what some cops do, right? Yeah. You can't hate every certain person because of one person. That's understandable. Yeah, I I was actually friends back in South Carolina with uh, the head of the SWAT team of my like hometown, and. That guy got me out of trouble all the time. <laughs> You're I about to get him in trouble cops. by saying things like that. Right? I yeah. uh, I don't think he cares. I'm pretty sure he's in prison now. I'm pretty sure he doesn't listen to podcasts. For one, I don't I don't know he's how busy. much the the SWAT leader demographic we're pulling in. This um, is what they're listening to right still before they the go SWAT in. Leader? Yeah, yeah, they're getting like pumped in the van right now. It's just a bunch of guys and they all get the little like white uh, earphones hanging down, mm-hmm. but they're holding these big guns and they're mm-hmm. just like. Amy, can I just say you're holding a big gun like a bass guitar? I love it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is this not? Is this not how you hold what, a big gun? What? They, what problem <laughs> is the SWAT team going to solve? But jamming out yeah. with those things. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever what, that is. I don't know what my whatever baby my object you're holding. Work is. Uh, <laughs> it's like a bass guitar. I love it. Mine's always up here. That's where you hold your gun. Oh, your bass guitar. Your bass guitar. <laughs> whatever. Um, Stupid. Looks like I'm tickling my breasts. Do you actually um, play bass guitar? And even if you don't, could you pretend? Up yes. there? Like this? <laughs> no. Because there's one up there behind you. I, I knew how to play Psycho Killer. Okay. But I don't anymore. Mm, and just I can to say. Talk in no, and, uh, <laughs> and like two Ramon songs. But now I don't remember them at all. Who are the two Ramones? Oh my god! I mean, what a like we all know that there's comment. Like that was such a like Uncle Jisoo razzing you. Oh, razzing like you. you want me to name them? No. No. <laughs> 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 you'll, get, you'll get used to my dad humor soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mentioned earlier too. that you were in a frat. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I was in fraternity college. What's that about? I literally have no... <laughs> no, I, like, have no reference for it, well, so sure, sure. I wonder what um, that meant to you. I was in a small fraternity at Texas A&M. Uh, this fraternity was a small, local-only chapter, so we only existed at A&M. A small Asian interest fraternity is what we called it, but it's mostly Asian members. But we actually did have a good number of, you know, other ethnicities as well. Uh, but I joined because growing up in South Texas, I didn't have any uh, really Asian friends or anything like that, right? I mean, I knew a few people, but we didn't really hang out and stuff. But uh, I just wanted to get more involved in the culture, per se. So that's why I joined up. But honestly, people give a lot of bad images to frats. I don't know about other frats, but honestly, my frat was just a bunch of dudes playing ar- like hanging around, playing video games, and drinking a lot of beer. Like, that's literally what it was. It was a great time, you yeah. know, like, 
we did a lot of service events. We like cleaned stuff up, and we went to like we had socials and mixers and stuff. So met a lot of cool people. Uh, but you know, honestly, all that like stuff you see in the movies and stuff. I don't know about other frats. I can't talk for them, but ours was so chill that because in my mind I was like, if anybody makes me do anything, I'm any percent uncomfortable with, I'm dropping like right then and there. And I finished and loved it. It was great. Cool. Yeah. When you say, like, things you're uncomfortable with, you mean, like, uh, like, like making, hazing and stuff? Yeah, like hazing, making someone, like, you know, look at my dick or something like that. Wait, is that the, is that the like, stuff that was happening in the uh, other fraternities? No, 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 no. Is that, like, that, 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 like, the, was that? I mean, yeah, that no, was no, just I'm, I'm, just, I'm just yeah, saying for the kind of stereotype of what a fraternity kind of hazing would involve. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I, well, I've heard, Nudity, like, uh, having to do, like, the running. elephant walk. The elephant walk? Yeah. What's that? They make like uh, pledges, um, walk oh. in line naked, and hold each other's, like hold the guy in front of their junk, like a uh, ding dong tails. Oh, in goodness. A jungle book. I know that's. Mm-mm. I'm not into that. That's rough. Yeah, but that was frat life. It was good though. Like I enjoyed it, and I met a lot of good people from it, and I. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good experience. You still uh, you still keep in touch with your frat friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, one of my brothers I play a video game with almost every day still. Yeah. And it's been like eight years since college. Or eight years now? Shit. When did I graduate? Oh, nine? Six years. Seven years. Wow. I wasn't a math major. <laughs> <laughs> I no. am Asian, but I'm terrible at math. What was your uh, What was your major? Theater? Uh, no, no, not at all. Oh. Uh, my major, the first three years was telecommunications. Okay. Uh, which is like... Phones? Kind of yeah, like satellite that, programming uh, stuff. Oh, okay, all right. Really shitty. Uh, and then I switched to renewable natural resources. Oh. Uh, uh, and which was the, the literal opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was fine. It was good. Huh. I met some cool people either way. You get a degree, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. right on. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's funny because I, like, think of you as, like, one of the most diehard theater people. Like, <laughs> like we are, we're always talking about, you know, whether or not you do, we do theater as a hobby or, mm-hmm. or uh, a forever thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I perceive you as a forever um, yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. So I, that's why I was like, oh, really? You didn't, like, just... Mm-hmm. Have a theater major? No, not at all. In fact, uh, come from a family that kind of discouraged it a little bit, and still sure. do to this day. Like we still have arguments about my career choices, huh. which is I'm 29 now, <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's, it's getting a little bit okay. Well, maybe I kind of feel like I know what I'm doing at least <laughs> some some of the time. But um, no, no, no. I um, did a lot of community theater and high school theater growing up. Uh, loved it. Uh, then. Uh, went to college where I started doing short form improv uh, with my college improv group, Freudian Slip, Texas A&M, shout out, what's up? Uh, <laughs> and then um, did that for a while. And then after college, I actually moved back home to take over my family's business, which is we have a uh, sto- uh, retail store down the, down Brownsville, Texas, where I'm from. Uh, and uh, we sell like purses and backpacks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I went back and I did that for about two to three years and I ran it myself. My parents had retired and stuff and they were kind of like living between Brownsville and Korea, like just traveling a lot, you know, doing retired stuff. Uh, but I was actually really going crazy. I was going almost insane because I would just wake up like at seven, go to work, come back. You know, I can't, I just can't do that grind. And I'm sure a lot of people do who are cursing me right now. Uh, But, you know, it's... I just... I can't because I'll go crazy. Like, my mind will explode. And I started going crazy. And I was like, if I don't move somewhere or do start doing something creative, I'm going to go crazy. Or do something drastic. I don't know what. But uh, uh, long story short, I was like, one day, just, hey, mom and dad, I'm moving to Austin in two weeks. Uh, And so they were conceivably concerned. uh, But, um... You know, I was pretty firm in my decision, and so I just upped and moved. So I left behind, you know, my own house and my own store to come up and do comedy and do acting stuff. And that was, now it's been six years, five years? I remember when you moved. Yeah, yeah. Because before I moved, I was actually taking classes at New Movement in Austin, and I was commuting from Brownsville to Austin every week. 
Yeah. That's a six-hour drive one way, or five hours drive one way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could you sell me? I did that for a year. What it's insane! Fuck? Isn't yeah, that insane? Yeah. I didn't know. No, yeah. I didn't. I no. That is. I knew. Was, I knew that crazy. you were commuting for during your classes. That was yeah, one yeah, of the things. I would, people were like, people were like, this guy's fucking serious. So we were like, oh my god. Yeah, I come did, up did like you on have Monday. Like, a day, like th- it was like one of your days off or something. Like you. Yeah, yeah. Basically, the day. I'd come up on a Monday. My class was on a Tuesday. Then I'd leave on the Wednesday and just drive back to Brownsville. That was it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. All right, so I would, like uh, chill on a friend's couch or something like that. Like Ariel, I uh-huh. I slept on her couch for like a month <laughs> when she lived with Megan. Yeah, yeah. Simon. Yeah, they I lived didn't together. Know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, could you sell Six me a purse right now? now? Could I sell you a purse? No, no, no. I mean like pitch, like give me the spiel and so. No, because I d- I didn't have to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, but like you would know the like facts about the item that you would want to be said. Sure, but I mean, basically, I just ask you what you want, what you're looking yeah, for, I then mean. I put out what I have similar to that. Like, I'm not going to be like, hey, check out this particular one. I'm just going to be like, hey, which, what can I help you with? You know? mm-hmm. But also down there, it's mostly in Spanish and stuff. And so, I mean, I speak Spanish, but my employees speak a lot better Spanish than I do. So usually they're just, you know, take care of it. And I just kind of run the register and oversell things. Is that store still mm-hmm. open? Yeah, yeah. Who ha- who's uh, it over So there? my parents kind of came out of unretirement to take it back over to make sure our family didn't go, uh, you know, balls up. But um, <laughs> he said balls up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. So long story short, my mom. My mom is pretty much running the day-to-day stuff, but my dad also helps out. But my dad had to go back to Korea for a little bit because uh, we had a grandma pass away and stuff like that. So just taking care of affairs and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I've uh, I've definitely got a weird life. So yeah, it's a, it's a weird. I've done weird things. <laughs> I like that though. I've I mean... banned plastic bags in three cities now. You've banned them? Well, so in College Station, I was actually, when I switched over to Renewable Natural Resources, I ended up getting a job with the city of College Station, or actually, the official title was <laughs> the Brazos Valley Solid Waste Management Authority, which they run the landfill, uh-huh. and so basically I got a job as their intern, and I, when I say the landfill, it's not like I was at the landfill, like, d- digging and stuff like that, right. which, honestly, I've been out there, it's pretty cool, but, uh, <laughs> Uh, but like I was like the intern so I would help out with the recycling department and they had this little ro- ro- robotic raccoon thing that I would drive around and be the voice of anyway long story short it was fun wow. me, and, me and a good friend of mine Nicole oh, it was great we had some great times we would just like drive around in a van and, and like pick up the city's recycling and stuff it was really fun uh, but uh, anyway that program that city actually ended up banning plastic bags in the city uh, and we were the test city for that at College Station so when I moved back to Brownsville to take over my family's store, we got a flyer in Brownsville saying that Brownsville was thinking about banning plastic bags and for all business owners to come out to a public forum meeting. So it was a very parks and recreation type moment for me. <laughs> so I actually went to the public forum meeting, which was at an abandoned shopping mall. But long story short... Spooky. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I went. That's what Brownsville's like. Yeah. <laughs> I went. It's a place called Amigo Land Mall. Brownsville, what's up? Oh, no. Uh, anyway, uh, so I went and... Um, so scary. I was just listening to the meeting and it was... Uh, it was just a lot of dumb opinions going up. I hate to say that, but just people oh. were just being like, well, why don't we do this? And why don't we do that? And I was just like, do you guys know anything about like plastic bags and how they work and how they made and all sorts of stuff? But anyway... <laughs> Long story short, one, one, I felt so bad about this, but one dude next to me, like, he was sitting literally, like, one chair down from me, and I wouldn't have said anything, but he was just so close to me, I couldn't be, like, I'm this close to this stu- this much pro- uh, stupidity, you know? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't contain myself, so he said, why don't we use, like, why don't we give out grain sacks like my grandpa used to get at the feed store, and people can just use the grain sacks to carry stuff around. You know, and so I, I just stood up and I said, sir, your grandpa also went to that same store in a horse and carriage. Like, should we still do that? It's called progress, sir. 
And like, I had an old lady clap for me, which was a really <laughs> weird thing, because I wasn't trying to put him down, but I was like, just one old lady. Just are one. you? Yeah, it was it was like a single clap. But anyway, but I was I was like. <laughs>